All right, everyone. I think it's about time that we resume our adventures here in Niche, where by now you guys probably know we have told many generations of stories and we have watched as Nicheling gods, as literally thousands of Nichelings have been born, have played out their lives, and have died under our watchful gaze. And after so long, I finally feel ready to return to our stories and adventures. And I'm really looking forward to sharing the newest chapter of The Whims with all of you. For those of you guys who don't know, Niche is a really fun genetic survival game where you play with a bunch of absolutely adorable creatures and tweak their genetics to try to help them adapt and survive a wide variety of challenges and also pass on some traits that you just really happen to want your Nichelings to look like. We have literally dozens and dozens of playlists of different niche adventures, a little bit of everything depending on what your favorite style of storytelling or challenge may be. And one of my favorite styles of challenge for niche is the whims, in which we make so many of the decisions for what will happen to our nichelings, where their futures will go, what their legacy might be like, completely random. We leave it up to the whims of fate and the random generators, which do include some of you guys. So my friends, we are going to start fresh with the whims reborn. Technically the fourth season of the whims legacy, we're going to go ahead and start completely fresh with a brand new nicheling, one little lost nicheling who is going to be wandering on a randomly chosen island and doing their best to start off the first generation of the whims challenge. This is going to be pretty tricky because when you start with just one nicheling, things can go wrong really quickly. If we end up being able to randomize on a peaceful island, well, our nicheling probably has a chance of surviving. But if we end up randomizing on a killer island, our little nicheling might die before we have a chance to get this legacy going. So we'll have to see how many times it takes before we're able to get some generations uh, properly headed into this newest chapter of the Whims Legacy. So if you guys aren't familiar with the game, check out all of those other playlists and it will help to familiarize yourselves. If you would like to see our amazing wiki that Professor Callium, one of the fantastic community members we have, devoted a lot of time to preparing, then do check out the video description to kind of fill in some of the other nicheling information and to see the rules for the whims challenge. But otherwise, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and we are going to begin this new journey. Oh, I am so excited. It has been a long time since we have gone ahead and we have done this, you guys. I really hope you guys are prepared uh, because I'm not, especially because I have some of the random traits already pulled up for our newest challenge. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with one nicheling child on a brand new island in a new game. Let's just say a quick hello to the fruitlings, the Zadari, uh, whoever these guys are and the Ice Age save files just as we zip past them. We're going to make a brand new game. We're going to make it in sandbox mode and we are going to make it the Whims Reborn Challenge. So this is going to be pretty interesting because right away we're going to set the sandbox settings to change how long the different nichelings will actually live. We're going to edit up some of the world settings and I will show you guys how we'll do that. We're actually going to tweak things so that babies will be babies for three days. Children will be children for about three days. Teens will be teens for closer to eight days. And in fact, we're going to increase this just a little bit. Teens, we'll have teens. Eight days seems fair for teens. Well, I really want to give us a chance to get used to the teens. So let's actually do, uh, let's do 10 days on teens. We want to be very careful. Here, we're going to do it like this. 10, 12. We want to have some time to really devote to our nichelings after all. And we're going to let the adults live close to, oh, let's, they, they can live all the way up to 60 days if they're really heckin' lucky. We will try to offset that a little bit by making pregnancy at least three days. So it'll be quite a while. Let's see. Yeah, that's about a tenth of your life to raise one child up to childhood. Hmm. Here, we'll decrease how long they're a child and a baby just a little bit. There we go. 
just a little bit. You can live to a nice long age as our nichelings if you manage to make it that far. Hopefully this will be a good arrangement. It'd be really nice if you could change those settings after you make the game, but I don't believe you can. Um, we're also going to basically enemy damage, hunger damage. We'll make enemy damage cause more damage for sure, but we'll make healing when you find a healing fruit actually help out quite a bit. Um, and environment and hunger damage will keep low. Gene setting, we'll get into this in just a second. Gameplay setting, we are going to go ahead and we are going to do blind gene mode. So we will not be able to see what genes our nichelings have. That's part of the whims challenge. We have to only study how they look, their phenotype, and we have to make guesses to what their genes are. So we won't know if we have two nichelings who might have unhealthy babies until after the fact. And this time around, should we go ahead and unlock all genes? You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to straight up unlock all genes. Uh, well, actually, that provides a lot of a challenge. Hmm. What say you, dice? The dice say that this time around, we'll go ahead and unlock all genes. We have played literally hundreds of episodes where we make a challenge out of unlocking the genes. So we're going to go ahead and just have them unlocked because one of the rules for our whims this time is that both of the genes that our nichelings might be able to pass on through the mutation menu will be randomized. Everything is being given over to the whims, the gods, the whim gods. Uh, we're also going to increase food just a little bit because you guys will understand when you meet who we happen to have stumbled on and we'll increase the nesting material just a little bit. At tribe size, we will actually be limiting, changing from leader to leader. One of the rules for the Whims Legacy is that the size of the tribe randomizes from two to 20 members every generation. And each new generation begins when a leader dies and a new leader is chosen. And this first tribe size is actually going to be 10. So we could go ahead and set that manual limit, but because we want to change it every generation, we won't be doing that right now. We'll just have to make ourselves realize like, oh, we're at 10 members. We need to limit how many members are in the tribe and somebody has to leave. We'll vote them out of the pack. For world setting, we will leave everything showing up. Very excited about that. We won't worry about win conditions, but we will worry about the genes. Oh boy. Here we go, guys. So we're actually going to be starting with a character who I randomized. We're only going to have one of them, which makes this a little bit, whew, like already a little exciting. And I would like you guys all to meet Tata Ni. So this is going to be the reborn god Tata as a female this time. And for those of you guys who don't know, the god Tata has been a trickster god in our nicheling pantheon and our story series for a very, very long time. <laughs> Every time something tends to happen in the pixel biology community, we often say that it was Tata's fault and that he actually um, was being very playful and causing a lot of tricks. So he is our trickster god who has infiltrated not only not only our nicheling world, but he has also infiltrated basically the entire pixel biology community. So Tata is going to restart the whims challenge by being reborn into a mysterious tribe distantly related to the old whims of yesteryear and the old playlist. And this poor young girl was separated from her tribe at a very young age. Let's make sure we know exactly what age we want to make her. So if she was six days old, she would have just turned into a teen. So I think we'll set her at six days. So she's going to be six days old. There we go. And that will put her right at the end of childhood. So she was separated from her tribe and needs to be able to find her way home. There we go. And we're gonna set the fertility to random as well. We're even gonna set the eyesight to random, everything to random, absolutely everything, albinism, melanism to random. All of her genes are going to be random. <laughs> this is gonna be really fun. 
And now we're going to see the possible animals, the possible nicheling that could be created for this young nicheling separated from her tribe and doomed by fate and this this feeling she kind of has inside that she is meant for greater things because she is a reborn god but has to grow into realizing that. Uh, and when we show the possible animal, you guys will see examples of what she could be like. So let's take a peek. Okay, okay. Pretty interesting. Literally with all of the genes that could be randomized, she'd be really good at swimming here with her swimmer legs and her excellent gills. Uh, or we could have a little beaver tail. Ooh, or we could have swimming body. Nice, nice. We could have blind eyes. That would actually be really difficult. <laughs> In fact, you literally can't play with blind eyes, um, so we will go ahead and do at least one... We'll, we'll do Forbidden Gene Blind, because that is one thing that will actually break the game. <gasps> Look at how pretty she could turn out to be! We could end up with a Peppermint Nicheling! So here we are! in the Nishling God Pantheon, watching over the possible creatures that this little one might be reborn as, gathering around with excitement as the whims begin to think about their future journey. Oh my goodness, I can just imagine all of us like talking about it and being like, oh, what if she turns out like this? What if she turns out like this? What if she turns out like this? <gasps> what if she turns out like that? That would be so cool. <laughs> so there are a lot of, lot of options of what little Tot Honey could look like, but uh, also, one of the rules for the whims is that each leader gets three personality traits rolled for them. And we try to guide their generation of the pack by those personality traits. And for Tatani, her personality traits in this iteration of her life, and her name is Ni to note which version of Tata's rebirths as a goddess uh, slash god that she is, but Tatani's personality traits are idealistic, timid, and devious. So idealistic, timid, and devious. Although Tatani was separated from her tribe at a very young age, she has an optimi optimistic nature that somehow an opportunity will arrive that will help her survive. Even if that means sneaking around in the shadows due to that, you know, timid personality trait, and stealing a meal or two due to that devious personality trait. Tatani believes in the ability of all nichelings to live up to their full potential due to her idealistic trait, whatever that potential is. And for her, that includes avoiding danger through being able to outsmart risky situations. So she's going to be an extremely clever young girl who will hopefully have what it takes to survive. And I really hope she has what it takes to survive because now that we have made these sandbox settings. Oh, okay, these are gonna be the whims starter settings. Now that we have made these particular sandbox settings, we've got it all lined up, I think we're good to go. I have some dramatic news for all of you friends. Okay, the thing is, here using the whims starter settings, I rolled for what island, Tatani, as a child, would go ahead and spawn on to begin her adventure. She has been born into the world. She has been separated now from her tribe. And we are going to go ahead and begin her adventure with the Whims Reborn on, and this was completely the random generator's decision, a killer island in the Deadly Hills. A killer island in the Deadly Hills. This may be the shortest beginning to a new generation that we have ever had, but this is it. So let's go ahead and begin, guys. The only other rules I can think to explain to you before we start are that when we arrive on an island, we immediately roll to randomize which port we can leave through. Every Nishling port has three exits, and we can only leave the island on one of those exits. We cannot leave an island on the other two. We randomize to see which one is open to us, and the other two basically don't exist. We can leave an island as soon as we want. We can add in rogue, or we can add in wanderers to our tribe as long as we don't go over ten members for this generation. But uh, otherwise, just everything is is random, and we will follow the idealistic, timid, and devious personality of our new founder, Tata Ni. Here we go. I wonder what she's gonna look like. I wonder if she's gonna survive. Oh boy.
Okay, hang in there, little one. <gasps> oh my good gravy, she's adorable! We have a toxic body little ant eater. Are you kidding me? She is precious. She is absolutely precious. And I'm just gonna check. Ta-da! We have no idea what her genes are. We can look at her and we can make some guesses, but thankfully her genes are 100% hidden and that is going to add even more into the adventure and the story of how to build this tribe up because we will have to study the phenotype of the animals by looking very, very closely to see, oh, she has digging paw, she has webbed paw, she has toxic body, she has the ability to eat bugs, she has a little bit of attack, but she's also got normal hind legs she is, does she have large ears? It's hard to tell at this age. She has beaver tail, so she has swimming tail, so she should be able to swim pretty quickly. So she's got a little bit of swimming ability. She's got a little bit of bug eating ability. She's got a little bit of digging ability. She might not have any ability to collect any of the fruits or any of the nuts. So that might be very interesting, huh? Also, she's on a killer island, which is probably inhabited by a lot of killer creatures. She probably washed up on this beach and doesn't want to be here very long, guys, because that could lead to disaster. And we're going to have to find ways to feed the poor thing, since it doesn't seem like she, we, like, we have no idea because her genes are hidden. It doesn't seem like she may be able to dig up her own food. Uh, or pardon me, she does dig. We don't want to mouse over to see what those genes are. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't have the ability to get any of the nuts, and she doesn't have the ability to be able to go ahead. This is very helpful to see, though. Do you guys, I don't think that's cheating. Like, you can't really hide this. <laughs> so, Tatani doesn't have the ability to get any berries either. All right, so I think first thing we should definitely do with this little child is get her off this island. This is just too deadly, in my opinion. We have a even more deadly port over here surrounded by the fallen bones of many dead nichelings. And then let's wiggle over here. We've got an equally deadly port over there. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure that'll work out great. And I think we only have two ports this time. We do only have two ports this time. To doom and more doom. Roll the dice. Do we go to the left or to the right? We will go to the left. So we need to exit through this port and no other port is available to us. Yeah, and there are only two exits. So we're gonna try to bolt for this port and get out of here. Cause this is dangerous, Tatani. Even though things probably won't eat you because you're small and tiny, we need to get you out of here. Let's see if we can make it off the island. She should grow up into an adult soon. <gasps> oh no, is she sickly? Dadani, no! You can't be sickly like your first day. Are you kidding me? What are we gonna do, you guys? What are we gonna do with a sickly? Like, she was born with a little toxic body, too. Oh, this may be a very short life for our little founder. Oh, dear me. Can she crack open this food? Let's not waste time trying to find out. We're gonna keep her moving. And we're gonna try to get off this island. Oh, I can't believe the poor thing is sick. Hopefully, like, oh, well, we have leeches to eat at least. Can we pull our own leeches off? Is that a thing? Oh, poor thing. All right. Oh, no. Can we not pull our own leeches off? I don't. Oh, wait, no. The leech died because she's toxic. <gasps> she's immune to leeches. Oh, thank goodness. Also, I think she has short. Yeah, she has bad eyesight because she can't really see where she's going. Yeah, being able to see these stats should be okay, because you can't really hide that. However, that'll still make it a challenge when it comes to her genes. Because I had no idea that she's sickly. The poor little one. Alright, come on, my dear. We'll have to see if she'll live long enough to be able to pass on a generation or two. Okay, thankfully we don't need to worry about that big old hawk. That hawk should leave us alone. Yeah, you can't mess with us because we're not tiny. If we were a baby, we'd be really worried. Oh, there's a little bit more food there. Okay, so she dug up some food. We could attack the bird of prey if her flying ability was high and we had wings. <gasps> a wanderer! Oh, thank goodness! Oh my 
my gosh, Pri Pri, what a name. Oh my goodness, Pri Pri, hold still. We're going to like hopefully enamor you. He's a male too. Oh, maybe we can make a home out of these deadly islands. Oh, maybe we should try you guys. Holy cow. Talk about like a dramatic start though. Look at this whole setup we have. We don't want to get him sick. He's now sick, but let's offer him some of our food store. Huzzah! There's even a nest here. Are you kidding me? All right. Tatani isn't old enough. She is still a teen. So she is not old enough to be able to have a nest of her own. And Pri Pri is an adult of 44 days. But he can actually get nuts and he can hunt and he can go ahead and get some berries. How excellent. Let's get him over and he can try to hunt and we, you know what? We'll try it. We'll try it. I think Tatani is kind of sickly anyway, so she'd be relieved to have a place to stay. Oh my good gravy. This is very exciting. And I think Pri Pri, even though he's sick now, because Tatani sneezed on him, I think he'd be pretty, pretty happy to like at least try, like this is his home. This wilderness is all he's ever known. He's happy to try to make the best of it. And we're gonna go ahead and have Tatani jump up. Oh, there's so many birds here. You know what? Let's try to make the best of it. She's gone ahead and she has actually come of age. Uh, and we're gonna try to make the best of this dangerous, extremely deadly hill that we happen to have stood on top of, like first off. So why not? Pri Pri, we're gonna give you a new name in the future based off of some of the names that you guys can leave in the comment section. I will randomize the comments because that goes along with the whims legacy. So do leave your comments down below guys to start tossing in some great names. I love this story. I think Pri Pri is just kind of like a healthy wild male who has spent a lot of his life as a loner just surviving in this extremely challenging environment. And now here he meets a female who looks like nobody he has ever seen. Look at her amazing, amazing nose, that schnoz. If you guys remember our Fruitlings legacy, the royal schnoz is definitely enviable among many of the nichelings. So I think he has fallen for the royal schnoz. Uh, I also think that Tatani wants to decorate her nest and her horns with some of the feathers. So I think her favorite food is gonna be these birds. That totally seems like something she would love. All right, but I want these two to be able to have some babies. So we're actually going to randomize Tatani and Pri Pri's mutations. So mutations are what you can give to your nichelings in order for their babies to be a little bit different than the parents. And it comes with the genetic survival component to this fantastic game that I have loved for so many years. And because we have unlocked all of the pieces, that is actually going to be the gift of Tata. Being, being able to have unlocked all of the genes from the get-go, then we will have an even more random legacy going forward because we could end up with wings, we could end up with fancy peacock tails, scorpion tails, we could end up with saber tooth fangs, we could end up with like purple spotted nichelings. We have a huge variety of traits we have, and we'll say that this is part of Tata's blessing to this new tribe, that we can go ahead and just have all the genes available. Normally in the game, you would have to unlock the majority of these genes through progressive gameplay. I love doing that, and we will definitely have future challenges where we will have that as well. But I also think that this is a perfect chance to start fresh with all of the genes, because why not? And so the random generator, which thank you so much to Unfeeling Metal, who created the random generator on Scratch a long time ago, has chosen two genes that we will now gift to Tatani. We will not be picking genes that will help our tribe ourselves. We will only be picking genes for the mutation menu that are randomized. And this time, the randomization is pattern density thick. So having children that have really like thick patterns and blue eyes. So Tatani, she has been given two blessings from basically herself, the god of randomness, and her children might be born with pattern density thick and blue eyes. And Pri Pri will also be given a couple blessings. Let me re-roll. And he is actually going to have a chance to pass on <gasps> Mammoth Foot. That's so cool. So he's going to have a chance to pass on Mammoth Foot 
which sounds amazing. And he's going to have a chance to pass on red pattern. So those are the two genes that he randomized that somewhere in the hierarchy of his family tree happened to exist. So now that that is all done, let's go ahead and see if Tatani, we don't know what their fertility is so because we can't see it since it's hidden. So it could be really bad fertility, but let's see if the two will be able to find love as Tatani settles in, admires the many birds, especially that one with the blue feathers. If she could have one of her children or her children's children or a tribe member fetch that bird down from the sky before she dies, she would love that. <clears throat> but she will find a new home here and praise Pripri -Pri for saving her life and say that she is willing to put his wandering days behind him and start a powerful new tribe here on this island that is all he has ever known. <gasps> Yay! All right, so she got pregnant right away. That is a very good sign. We're going to go ahead. He's not sick anymore, so we're going to scooch him over so he doesn't get sick. And then we'll start plucking some of this grass. All right, you guys. This is so exciting. We have got a good start. It's going to be a few days while Tatani is pregnant because she has a couple more days to go. But during that time, Pri Pri will actually get a chance. <gasps> There's healing fruit for her! Are you kidding me? Pri Pri will actually get a chance to guide her to safety. Can you believe that? To be able to bring her in and tell her it is all going to be all right. Eat from this fruit and you will be able to survive his new love. There we go. See? See? Tatani is very, um, what was, what was the trait? Idealistic. And so she knew that somehow things would work out. And that is a powerful healing fruit. And just like that, her sickness has temporarily gone away. She's chronically ill, so she will have it return in the future. But for now, she has a long life ahead of her. So, all right, guys, I am thrilled to begin this new adventure in Niche and with the Whims. You guys have been waiting for this for so long, and I am so happy to be able to bring it to you. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the newest adventures of our Whims legacies and for our wonderful Niche adventures. It will definitely help me figure out, uh, based off of the likes, believe it or not, it helps a ton with making series and our overall Pixel Biology channel healthy and letting me know where to put my energy, because we have so many stories we could tell. So let let me know if you have enjoyed this by commenting and liking. That's literally the way that I use to figure out where do I put all of my Siri energy? There's too many stories. So if you want to see more, do that for sure on all the episodes and it will really, really, really help. I mean that sincerely from the bottom of my heart. But most importantly, my friends, I hope that you will all stay curious and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye